Hey, it's Mike at You Are The Path. How's it going? So we've been talking about health, eating healthily, facing your fears and becoming more of who you are, embracing yourself. And what I'm really endeavoring to do is to liberate myself and to free myself and to what I really want. One of the things that I imagine is that feeling and I've, I've had a taste of it where I want to get out of bed because I'm so involved in life that I'm excited about the next day. And part of um, the way I look on life is that being in this physical body is a, a journey of learning to master transforming darkness into light for the joy of it for the experience of it so how do I do that personally how do I do that I eat healthily not all the time but lately since I've done since I've started this program I've been eating healthily vegetables living foods fruits seeds nuts that's going well I've been doing breath work now you see all of these things I've always been excited about these things about eating healthily doing breath work but I wouldn't always act on it and that's what I've done with this challenge is I've put everything else to one side took it back to the fundamentals I've been talking about now your fundamentals may be different to mine it's a case of separating what is really important to you what really excites you and what is your passion and doing it to the extent that you can even if it's only an hour a day that you get to read on your subject the subject that, that you're passionate about you do it to the extent that you can and what has happened in my experience is you find that you have more of an ability to do it doors open up things start happening when you follow your passion so as some of you may know from watching the videos the breath work has been helping me to learn to take my time to chew my food slowly to not rush and I've started to take more of a long term view on life God willing that I'm granted tomorrow and that I'm granted a long life because we can't take anything for granted and when I remember to I give thanks and praise that I have a roof over my head and I have food and water and clothing so the effects of the program that I'm on has been to slow myself down a bit I've become aware of the concept of a purposeless life whereby you're not in this way of thinking where you think okay when I get this qualification then I'll be happy when I get my new job then I'll be happy and then you get the new job when I become assistant manager then I'll be happy you become assistant manager when I become the manager then I can be happy and it goes on and on and on and on and on so it's very much for me right now is about waking up and asking myself what's good I said that in the last video looking around what's good hydrating myself doing my yoga being of service to others where I can be and so I want to share with you in this video the idea of developing a respect for reality and it's really a respect for your own reality so everyone's reality is different so what do I mean by that when I'm respecting my reality I'm eating healthily because I know that 
if I don't eat healthily, I know what's going to happen. I start to feel sluggish. I don't have that clarity in my thinking. I sit down to study and it's a chore. Everything's a chore. And it affects the functioning of my body. So it's a case of learning to mature, stepping into maturity whereby you respect reality. In the same way that I'm not going to jump out of that window because I respect reality enough to know that if I do that I'm going to smack my head on the concrete and I don't want to do that. So developing a healthy respect for reality and letting it work for you. I do believe that there are certain laws of the universe, one of them being that change is the only constant. Everything's in a state of change. Everything that we see around us will one day cease to be. YouTube, you, I, the idea of a country, the UK, America, it will cease to be and it will only exist in this moment, this point of time and space. So I wanted to share that with you so that you can start to contemplate where am I disrespecting reality by stuffing myself with foods that I know don't serve me. So I wanted to put that across and then um, the other thing I wanted to say is someone sent me a really interesting article around this whole idea of going with the flow. Not going with the flow but not being constricted by your your goals. And I've been constricted by my goals. I used to be a gym instructor and I'd have these elaborate programs and I'd, I'd do them and but I'd do them for a few weeks and I wouldn't feel passionate about it and then I'd feel like oh I'm a loser I'm not sticking to my goals I'd become passionate about something else I go with the passion now but I don't just do things aimlessly I, I still have a vision for myself so I'm going to leave that article under this video for you to check out. I think you'll find it interesting if uh, you're interested in this idea and it resonates with you. And so that's what's working now. This time of year can be difficult to um, for example this time of year we usually eat a lot and I'm going to let myself go over the weekend, just relax. But this is really helping me right now to keep it healthy between Monday and Friday. Relax on the weekend and then get back on it on a Monday. And doing it to be healthy. Not doing it to lose weight or to be more beautiful. Although that may be the result of you doing this. You may lose weight and your skin may clear up and all those, those things but it's doing it for the energy that you're going to get from it because it's all very well watching videos and reading books and taking in knowledge but it's the energy it's having the energy to act and in a physical body we're in the physical plane so this is very much about action moving, creating. So if you don't act, for me personally that just brings on frustration. I get frustrated for myself. So it's learning to move even if it feels like going against the grain, just moving. And that's why martial arts, my man Bruce Lee over there, that's why martial arts has helped a lot of people to liberate themselves by moving but moving in a determined way and that's something that he said in an interview moving because you're determined to move 
and then you can express yourself through movement. So we must act, no doubt about it, in this uh, plane of reality. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you got something from this. What I'm talking about lately is just the tip of the iceberg, really. But I'm starting to consolidate my message a little bit. And it, it's really about being in, the, being in the now. Embracing what shows up in the now. Being okay with who and where you are. being content with with what you have doesn't mean that you don't expand and grow but from a place of embracing yourself and looking for what's good learning to look for what you can be grateful for i'm going to leave it there guys peace catch us later